Hey all, I'm Ashrock, and this is my very first redstone tutorial video. Now, this isn't going to be on your traditional redstone, such as the wire itself, repeaters, etc. This is going to be strictly creative only redstone, specifically stuff that you might use for map making. And if you look behind me, you might see command blocks. And that's the air tutorial that's going to be on today, so I could get to it. I'm not going to be able to do all of the commands today, so I'm just focusing on the ones that affect directly the player, or other entities. So, starting on this side with the first one, the alphabet, we're going to be talking about the achievement command. So, in here, I have the format. It would be slash achievement, and then give or take either word, the achievement name, and then the player name is optional. If you're wondering what these brackets mean, the arrowy brackets are required things, and the normal brackets are optional things. These would not be included when you actually go to use the command. So, I have over here an example. If I want to give myself the achievement, the end to, I type in this, oh, not give, it's give, not get. I think, right? Okay, so what I'm doing now is checking it. Um, yeah, it's GIF. So you can tab in your commands, like I can tab in give or take. I'm just pressing the tab key. And yeah, it's pretty cool. If you don't want to finish it or if you don't know what words comes next in your chat menu, it's a pretty useful feature. So if I want to give myself the, the command the N2, which is the second and related achievement you can get. I think I said command at one point. It's not achievement. Wait, achieve yeah, command so achievement. I'm not an achievement. Um, I will just press this button and activate this command block. So, uh, with the achievement command, it will give you everything that you need to be able to get the last command. Last achievement. Sorry, it's gonna be really hard. Um, so I only had the first two, I believe. Let's take a look. Um, I only had taking inventory and getting wood. So, to get all the way over here to the end to command, it is spelled, it's different than its actual achievement name. Um, I was having to follow this path down here, and I received all of those achievements in order to get to here. So, if you don't know a name of a command that you want to give yourself, I would highly suggest just tabbing in the command and it'll get up to this. And then once you press it once again, it will give you the entire list of commands. And you can keep tabbing to find the specific one you want, but you can also look in here and start typing out the one you want. So if I want to go back and give myself the N2 again, um, I can just tab it there and exactly what I want. And I already have it, so it displays that message right there. And now I have an example of the take achievement. So, since I already have this achievement, I can go and take it away. Oh, shoot, I forgot my name. Um, as, as you saw in the first command block, um, the player name was optional. Unfortunately, in command blocks, it's, this player name is used if you are doing, like if, in, if you're doing this command yourself, it will default to the person who's in the command. Since the command block is not exactly a player, you need to put the name in the command block. This is the case with most commands. Um, so now that that's correct, I don't know why I didn't check that out before. And I lost the achievement, the end. So, that is our first one. Moving down, the second one in the alphabet involving players is the difficulty command. So this is the format. Very simple. Difficulty, difficulty. <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, so this difficulty here could be easy, hard, normal, peaceful, which is why I showed a flower here representing peaceful and the sword here representing any of the other modes. Um, 
So a few examples of this. I didn't put any examples. Um, okay, let's just put there. Difficulty. Two. Okay. Wait. Yeah, okay. I don't know why there was one there. If you're wondering why there's the two in here, um, you can represent difficulties with numbers, the word itself, or the first letter. So it starts out on zero, I think it's peaceful. Let's see. Difficulty zero? No? Oh, right, forgot the Y. Difficult, I really can't spell. Difficulty zero, so difficulty zero is peaceful, and if I press that, even if it's a different one, it is still peaceful. And here, this will be normal mode, I believe. Yes. And that's how it works. So next one I'll be talking about is effect. Now there's two ways this command is used. It can be used to clear any effect your, ha your player has, whether it's given by this command or by something like a potion or a golden apple. And I believe it's here. Okay. So it's, if you wanted to do that aspect of it, it's slash effects, then player name, clear. So, the other version of it is if you do want this command, this effect. So, it, if you want the effect, it's slash effect, the player, which effect you want. So, the name, this can easily be found if you try to tab in the name, similar to the achievement command. Then you have the seconds you want it to last. Um, amplifier is kind of... Um, Jump boost one versus jump boost two, etc., etc. Particles that can either be true or false. If they are true, I believe the particles are off. If they are false, they are on. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, kind of doesn't make sense because you'd imagine that particles were false, you wouldn't see them. But that's not the case apparently. At least when I tested it, it wasn't the case. I don't know if something changed. Um, so, and here I have the effect to give myself speed to with particles. And it'll last for 30 seconds. So, as you can see, there's particles in front of me. And in here, oh, speed three? Oh, I guess it's. Oh. All right, so what just happened there is um, it, the default of it is actually zero. Apparently. Apparently, right? Yeah, speed three. Okay, so the default zero. If you want just speed one, you can just put in zero. It kind of works that way. Like the number systems in Minecraft commonly start at zero. If you look at um, variance, so you see oak planks and the last number of it after the. Um, 0005 slash there's a zero and then it goes up from there based on the variance and that's a very very common system it's how the difficulty command works um it's how a lot of other things work too so yeah that's the effect um i will show you the clear as well so if i have this going i'm obviously running around really fast if i press the clear you can also see the little thing disappear up on the top right and this appears here and I am obviously walking at normal speed again so that was the effect command now we'll move on to game mode this is your spectator your adventure your survival and your creative this is a very simple command slash game mode your game mode and then an optional player if you want to just turn one player on it versus everyone so, I have a few simple ones here. The game mode creative for me, and game mode survival here. I'll do survival first so you can actually see it's working. As you can see, the bar down here changed. It looks really dark out. It must be... Oh, I guess it's turning night. Um, so that changed down there, and then if I go up here, it automatically changes me back to creative. I am pretty sure the name is required in command blocks since it can't change its own mode. <laughs> um, 
the help command. This is a bit bizarre. Uh, it actually doesn't exactly work in command blocks. So first, I'll show you how it works. It's slash help, and it does a few things. You can you can optionally put the page number you want of this menu, or you can do a specific command. I will first show what it does with, if you try to put in a command block. So you see I have slash help there. I press the button. As you can see, nothing happened down there. Nothing happened in front of me. And it gives you a message starting with surge says. Um, <laughs> and it's a little humorous message. Achievement take, achievement understand commands. Kind of making fun of how you can't use this in command blocks. There's a few variations, as you can see there. It's a different message. <laughs> so there's a lot of different variations here. I think you know, those actually are new to me, but I, I've seen a lot of them. Now, if you were to actually type this in your chat bar, it'll show you pages of the help menu. This is actually very useful if you need to find out how some of these commands work. So, as you can see, there's the achievement command, which I talked about earlier. Um, basically, the same thing as I came up with. Um, and if you want to find a specific page, since it's page one of seven, since they don't really want to spam you with pages, you can go help two, shows you page two. And if you want to just look at a specific command, let's see, I want to look up the how to use the help command. Um, it shows you the usage and it'll do it for every specific command you type. So if I want to help effect, it'll show you there. So, that's help, and it's a very useful thing if you don't know how to use the command. Like, if you just didn't watch one of these videos. Speaking of which, I don't know if I've said this already, but it's going to be a series of videos because not all commands can fit in one episode. So, next is the kill command. I... Okay, so first it's kill player or entity. <laughs> so, I'll go spawn in a pig, if I can find it, and a zombie to test this out. Because you can kill players and entities of this, and as you <gasps> might know, oh, is it, it's like it's on normal. I didn't know because obviously I would not be able to spawn a zombie in Peaceful. So, oh, poor guy, no, no, time, set, night. Don't die, don't die, survive, please. Okay, cool. Uh, You'll get to that later in another video. Um, so my first one is kill, and then this is this shows it's a type of entity, and then it specifies here zombie. You need this exact like you need this exact symboling. Uh, sure, I'm gonna go with that word here to make this actually work. I tried it otherwise, and it didn't. So. It should kill the zombie and not this pig here. And as you heard and might have seen, the zombie died. I'm gonna respawn him. Oh, it's a little baby zombie now. And now we have kill me. Oh, as you saw, the pig did not die, so it just kills the zombie. Now, both of these should survive when I press this button. And they do. And I set my spawn point here so I didn't have to go run away. And where are you? Oh, you're over there. Okay. I'm going to use this to kill a zombie again, because that's just very convenient. And I'm sorry you have to watch this, but... Okay. Fig is gone, too. So, that's the kill command. It also works on other players, so if you have multiple players in your world, which I currently don't, as you can see, it's very empty here. It's kind of sad. But <laughs> you can use it to kill other players, so you just put their player name right here. And yeah. If you just type slash kill, it will kill yourself. Obviously, the name isn't required in your chat, but if you try to use it in a command block, it is. Um, where is that? Okay, left off here. So, next one is the play sound command. So, this is how it works. It's a very long command because there's a lot of options. A lot of them are options though. Um, so let's play sound, your sound name, 
which you will probably want to tab in. You can try a few out, see what they sound like. I'll be playing one for you here. And then source. Your source is kind of the thing that makes that sound. Um, let's see. I can't remember what they are, but there's some are blocks, records. Um, I think there might be ambient too. And I don't really know the purpose of that in the command, but it's required. And then who it plays the sound to. You can use one of these things to target the nearest player, random player, all players, blah. Probably would not work with all entities considering... I guess I probably would. I just wouldn't obviously play with the entities since they aren't able to hear it. Um, then these coordinates are where they would play the sound from. Like, as if you were standing over here, they would play it over here. It would diminish the volume of the sound since you were farther away or it would expect you to go closer to it. Just something map making wise. And then your volume of the sound. I'm pretty sure the default volume is one and you can go between zero and two. Then pitch, same thing. It goes between zero and two, default being one. And then minimum volume. This is if you're too far away normally to hear the sound, what how loud will it hear if you're out of that range? So default is zero since you don't normally hear sounds if you're not in the range of them, but you can change it. I th think it's the same volume as with, oh, not there, as with this, but it could be up to one. I'm not sure at this moment. I don't have my notes in front of me. This is all live. Well, not live. It's recorded, but I won't be, I'll try not to do multiple takes on this. Um, then I will do a sample. So play sound. This is a name of a sound. Um, it's the sound of the ender chest closing. I tabbed that in because I didn't know what the sounds were. It's a block, so I put block and it's playing it to me. At the location of the command block, volume one, pitch one, and I won't hear it outside the range. So now I'll pick that, push this button. And you can hear it as well as seeing that it played the sound here. So, next command is say. So, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It works almost as if you're normally chatting. It will give you, so it'll say your message as if you had just pressed T. See? Um, players can use this and command blocks can use this. So, it's just slash say and then your message not in those bracket things, it's just the normal message. So I don't have a button there. That's kind of helpful. Um, this command block will say, hello. As you can see down there, it has that weird at thing. That's telling you it's a normal command block, so unnamed. Up here, I have a named command block that needs something to say apparently, right? I've always done that, say hi, so, I set it to my name. Um, if you want proof of that, I will go name this my name, as if I did it with the other one. I'll grab this button that I threw out of my inventory, and I'll say, hi, and ta-da! So, that's how the say command works. And as you can see, this is the name of the command block. So whatever you name your command block, it'll transfer your name. Oh, I think we're just a bit over halfway. These are just the player commands. There's, I think, 47 commands within the game. I might be wrong with that. Pretty sure I checked and that's what it said. Spawn point. Now, I think I mentioned earlier how I'd set my spawn point over there for the kill command. Um, this spawn point thing is where you, you would normally spawn in one area in the game, but you can change that to be different if you want it to be. You can change your own spawn point, someone else's spawn point, and this is only if you die. So, it's slash spawn point, optional player name, and optional coordinates. If you don't put in coordinates, or don't put a player name, it'll default to you, and it'll default to the location you're currently standing. So I think... Okay. 
over here I have my spawn point set to the center of there, which I guess is exactly where I spawned before, but it just shows you a message and if you kill yourself, you will spawn right here or wherever you set those coordinates. Next is the stop sound command. So this goes stop sound, player name, the source of the sound, and then the sound itself. I'm pretty sure if you don't put a source or a sound, it will just default to whatever sound is playing and it'll stop all of them if multiple are playing. So to do this, I have to play a sound first, which I'll play this file, which may or may not be in the game. I know there's a few ambient sounds that did not make it into the game. This might be one of them, I'm not sure. Um, then up here, I have a command to stop the sound. So, <laughs> ah, this is in the game. Maybe not all variations, because obviously we haven't heard some of them. I recognize hearing the second one, never heard the first one before, but <laughs> it's kind of funny, especially with the first one, how it was building up tension and then you stop it. So, <laughs> it's kind of fun to play around with, it scares any sound, and yeah, it's helpful if you have a longer sound going. I imagine it would also be helpful if you play with mods, if you have a longer sound going, and you want to stop it within the game using commands like this. Um, teleport. So, you might have... Oh, never mind. Over there is a similar command, just TP. There is a difference between teleport and TP. Not with normal teleportation, though. For both of these, if you just do teleport... Um, let's see. Teleport. Ashrock. 0, 71, 0. This is my coordinate from the center, and if I do that, it'll teleport me here. I'll move off over here again, TP to the same coordinates, and as you can see, they are identical with how they teleport you here. So, the one difference with these commands is if you do something called relative coordinates. I think they're called tildes, I'm pretty sure. But um, there are these things, and most computers are found next to the one key, and they mean they basically use where you're standing as relative. Um, well, not necessarily. They, they're used as where an entity is standing, whether that's yourself, another player, a command block. So, I obviously already showed you this. This, oh, I should probably actually show you the, this. So, teleport your target entity. This could be yourself. This could be a mob, this could be anything, the coordinates, and the Y rotation, which I think is horizontal, and the X rotation, which is vertical. So, this is the same thing as before, I just change the rotations to make myself over here. Um, now, if I go and do that here, it's supposed to teleport me to the relative coordinate eat above though. Now, as you can see, I ended up over this command block and not where I was standing before. This is because if you use this command, it will do it relative to the person using this command. So if I were to use this command myself, teleport, ashrock, tilde, tilde, eight, tilde, it will go eight above me. But if I use something like a command block, or if another player does it, I will teleport above them, above it. So it's pretty cool. I will talk about what the TP one does, which is think right there, in a few seconds, or I guess maybe minutes, depending on how it works out. Um, title command. A lot of possibilities, you can't tell from there or there. Um, let's start. So, probably shouldn't start with that command. This I'll start with. So, this command can work in several ways. One is slash title, player, the word title, and then the text you want as your title. I think that's down here. Okay. 
So if you want to put text in this, this is the format you need to do. Um, the curly brackets, quotation marks, text, and quotation marks, um, colon, quotation marks, your text inside, which for me is hello, and then quotation marks, and, and the brackets. So if I press this, actually, I will probably reset it before. Ooh, I don't actually need the reset. The reason I have to do this is it clears the previous one. Okay. And I'll change that back to clear. Um, it clears the previous one. And I had originally played around with this before. So now if I press this, as you can see, there's a message there. And if I want to clear it automatically, even if it's times no longer up, I can do that. That is by doing the title player clear command. And what I did with reset earlier is if you use subtitles. Now, this is basically the same format as the title command, except for you have the word subtitle here showing that you want it in the small text. Now, if you press this, it will not show the subtitle, but if you go back and show the title command, as you can see, the subtitle is below. And that's why I reset it, because I already had used the subtitle. Um, the last one, title, player, times. This is for your fade-in time, how long it'll stay, and how long it'll fade out. You're going to want to do this in text. I didn't really feel like working on this, so I didn't actually get a command mark here for it, but yeah. Where it's the TV, runs the TV command. So this actually has two ways to do it. Ignore that. Um, you can do TP, target player, to a destination player. So if I had my friend R2 on, I could teleport myself to her. Obviously she's not on because she cannot be found. But that's how it works if you do want to teleport to another player. Um, up here, I have TP, target player, XYZ, yaw, and pitch. Yaw is for horizontal, pitch is Y, rotation. Um, so, I leave, I have, oh, this is the relative one. So, I should teleport above myself. And I end up in the same exact spot. Since these relative coordinates are based on the player, the target player, right here. Sorry, I, I got confused teleport for a second. Um, up here, I have it to teleport to me a spot, which I showed you before, works exactly like the teleport command. I didn't actually know this command exists, the other command actually existed, the teleport command. So I have been using TP for the longest time. And I think it's a more well-known one, just because it is relative to the target player. I forgot the sign here, but this is the XP fan, the last one I will be covering. So, it can work in two ways. Okay, This way and the below, wait, this way below will give you, well, works XP, amount, and then player. If you don't put a player in, it'll default to you, but you need in the command block. That's how it works with most of the optional things, it has a normal default. And if it's up to the player, it'll default to you. If it's coordinates, it'll default to where you are. Um, so if I want to give myself 8 experience, I'll do XP, 8, and then my name. Oh, you can't see it in creative mode, so I should get myself in survival. You might have seen before that my level was at 3, and now it's at 4. But as you can see, when I'm pressing this, my level is increasing. Um, the other version of this command is exactly right one thing one interesting thing you can't you can't access command box in sorry mode i don't know if you can hear me clicking but i was just clicking on my mouse to see if i could and i obviously couldn't so i go back to be creative i can access it again so xp amount and this l is very important and then player this part, this version of the command will give you levels and not actual XP. 
I'll go back to survival so you can see it. I'm at five now, and I go exactly to six, to seven, and so on. So those are the player commands, and I am not in creative mode, so I can't fly. Um, I hope you learned something. If you think it's useful, you can show your friends. I just hope that you can use this for whatever you want. I think this is pretty helpful for map making. This is how I've been doing most of my redstone. Um, and I think it's really cool that these exist. These make your life a lot easier. Um, there's a few more sections of these that I will be covering later, such as item affecting ones. Um, I think I have a block affecting ones. I know I have a world affecting one. And so, I'll see you guys.